The northernmost town in England, on the east coast, four kilometers south of the Scottish border, Berwick-upon-Tweed serves to highlight basic economic considerations of a possible independent Scotland. Many of its small business owners are nervous about what that might bring. Skelly's has been providing meat since 1760. John Skelly also sells regional specialties, including sliced haggis. Uh, I honestly think it'll, it might not be. A, it's not going to be a good thing for Berwick itself. I don't think because a lot of our customers we'll have a lot of customers that come from the Scottish side of the border. Gavin Jones also carries English and Scottish products in his shop. He's worried about the effects of a currency division. We're using Scottish notes, English notes. They mean the same to us. Five pound Scottish note is five pound sterling. If Scotland goes independent, five pound could become three pound sterling or seven pound sterling. It adds complexity to our pricing and it will add bank charges to our business. Berwick has changed hands 13 times over the centuries, only in 1482 definitively becoming English officially. The people here are so used to coming and going unhampered, the Mayor Isabel Hunter's concerned about that. There could be borders, and if they're actually putting up borders where you need passports, people in Berwick um, go back and forth across that border on a regular basis, hourly, daily. Slightly bigger businesses are riled too over in Scotland about what rupturing the United Kingdom could bring, including the effect on employment and on exports. And the views are by no means uniform. A group of 200 leading chefs all signed a petition in favour of independence. One of them, Andrew Fairley, is king of the kitchen in Glasgow's five-star Glen Eagles Hotel. We think in an independent Scotland that business can flourish, it can be successful, and there's a lot more opportunities for small, medium-sized business in Scotland. In contrast, in a bid to hold things together, 130 Scottish employers insist that strong economic links with the United Kingdom underpin almost one million jobs in Scotland. Keith Cochran is chief executive of Weir Group Engineering. I'm a proud Scot. I've lived and worked in Scotland all my life. Uh, but at the end of the day, that is not inconsistent with being part of the United Kingdom. Further burdening the Scottish is how the country fits in as part of the European Union.